Howdy folks, my name is Lanto90, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, it has been super long since I've played, but it has been a few hours. I think we were just getting all of our chitin gear made, and we looked at the chitin helmet, and it was not going to help. So, probably time to get back to work killing some zombies here. We can hopefully get into some of these houses. And we'll pick our bow back up, though. We should probably be bring the gun with us. We'll just bring the gun with the ammo it has. Realistically, if something can get through the 23 shots we have and not die, then... Probably the next three clips wouldn't help either. Let's see, uh... Probably wear this quiver, though. So... Hopefully we can find a sewing kit in one of these houses. So we don't we're not stuck with the... Wooden needle, which is, like, not very good. Oh, I chose to cross at the widest point. I forgot that we had to go way far out there before we cross. It's okay. <gasps> Ooh, that scared me in real life. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Safe mode. Safe mode was even on. Oh, we saw this guy get pulled out here a long time ago, but man. Oh. Scared the f <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Caps lock got turned on. <laughs> oh, that was bad. My soul left my body, dude. <laughs> the safe mode was on, so I'm like, oh, I'm safe, I'm fine. It doesn't help if you don't see them till the very last second, though. <laughs> Until they're already on top of you. <laughs> oh. That hurt. Oops, we're a little bit too close to these houses. Hurt my soul. It's damn bees. Okay, let's uh, check this house up here. Zombies do a little bit more like walking around for no reason now, huh? Like I'm seeing them on the mini map move around. They didn't used to really do that. Now we've pulled one though. Ah, shoot. Pulled like 10 actually. Maybe I didn't. I don't know why only the tough zombie came. It looked like three were coming towards me. What the heck? What? What's it doing? Oh, I guess I can't decide if it wants to attack me or the bee. Never seen a zombie do that before. It's, it's really unusual. If I get further away, are you gonna... No, 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 no. Oh, that was very strange. I've never seen a zombie do that before. I think he was just getting aggroed by the bee over and over. Oh, 
Log grass, right? Yes. He's getting stuck too. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that is our is our chitin like making us invisible or something? Maybe. I'd never heard of something like that before, but it is true that I'm seeing his exclamation mark get disappearing time to time. Processing the information at the moment. I thought it was the bees, but he was doing it way before he got close to the bees. That is true that the Windows Defender has kept quarantining the game. It did it again. No, oh, don't do that. I have it fixed now that it's not going to. But I don't know why it's doing it to begin with. It normally doesn't. the house is gonna freaking have that now. Hopefully those Rottweilers are gonna kill it though. And things are a little crazy right now. It's not really what I expected. <laughs> the cowboy hat, I'm not sure how much leather it's gonna give us. There's a standard quiver. Also, this leaf was leather. Trench coat's gonna be a lot of leather. The ski mask used to be really good. There's kind of a lot of stuff here that's okay. Ski mask. Less encumbrance, more protection, but not more environmental protection. But it can layer with the dusk mask. Oh my god, it has 50 warmth. No, we can't wear that. Never mind. I kind of forgot. There was a time in this game. Where, uh... It's pretty much nuclear winter. It was actually like that for quite a while. They haven't. They only changed it away recently. And then there was a time before that where it wasn't. But. Point is, for a while it was nuclear winter. And it was like mega cold. Like you would just straight up freeze to death unless you're in full winter year. Need more log strings for sure. More ladders in the early game here is probably a good idea, too. Metal tongs, I think we're going to eventually need for metalworking, so we better grab one pair of those at least. But yeah, so something like the ski mask was actually like one of the best uh, mouth protection things you could get in the game. And also, I don't think it had 50 warmth. I think it was high, but I don't think it was that high. Now, does that scare me that, uh... 
scare me that winter time now is probably mega bad. Hello, zombie from nowhere. Hello, zombie from new nowhere times two. Hello, zombie from nowhere times three. We get a zombie from nowhere times four. Uniworld liver delicious recipes your kids will love. Those zombies might be coming for me too. You just have to lock every building or every room in your house. Yoink. Is normally the stuff on the kitchen tables is not very good though. Nothing there. There. Red. Edge trimmer. Sam will never miss fires. Sam starts fires. I guess that's a gas hedge trimmer. Poor man's chainsaw, as far as the zombies are concerned. Hmm. Hundred and ninety moves per attack. Pretty steep. Rubber boots are great if we ever run into, uh, like a sewer or something. Not that I can recommend that. Spend time. I feel like we already have a big book of first aid, but I could be wrong. Water heater, bathroom. We're in an awesome basement. <laughs> Wish I had a basement like this. I actually do have a very large basement, and it's actually in pretty good condition. Could make a pretty fancy basement if I had the money for it. Oh boy, so all sorts of ruckus has been caught up up here because of the I bot. Don't really seem like we're gonna get any uh, side of town grocery stores. Crap with that survivor zombie. That's what killed us last game. You just a regular one? You're just a regular one. Oh, well, which one of you are the survival one? He's out of our vision now, apparently. We are just really fast right now. So it's possible that I'm just going so fast that the uh find the normal spot here. That the zombie gets pulled by a bee. Okay, that bee went hostile and then it got unhostile. For now I didn't know it is still hostile. When anything attacks anything in this game, it all becomes aggressive towards you. Even if you weren't the one who did it. Northwest was the survivor zombie. So he's up here somewhere. I 
don't know if we can see them in the... No, that's memory terrain. That's not where we can see. Don't see anything in the northwest. No, 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 no. Why do we have to pull like 10 things? Alright, there's a survivor zombie. He has to be killed by a bee, or we've got to shoot him. He is losing track of us, though. Everything's losing track of us. I'm not sure why. The only thing we've changed is wearing the chitin. by a bee. Okay, he can kill a giant bee, so that kind of makes more sense of why he's only lightly injured by the bee, too. That's nuts. No wonder he freaking kicked our ass. They made him, like, way stronger than he used to be. Alright, we gotta use the gun, then. Like, he is... A zombie being able to take out a giant bee is pretty incredible. Earth is going on. Oh no, man. It's very possible the game files are just corrupted from. Windows messing with it. But it could also just be like Chitin gives you invisibility or something. Now yeah, open for better stuff on a survivor zombie, to be honest with you. Fire brought over a bunch of zombies, huh? protection though. Wow, he managed to hit the 5% chance to hit. First of all, he had the chance to hit our eyes, which is like the smallest target on our body. And then he had the luck to also hit the 5% chance to miss the coverage. Like, this crawling zombie was able to freaking... Isn't losing track of us? What on earth? Like, everything else lost track of us, but this crawling zombie, which takes forever to move, was that determined to get after us? Losing it. Actually losing it. Taser. Very have first gate for sure this time. Who oh, has Matt Zombie? Still not confident enough in our own combat skills to. talk in the Discord chat and try to figure out what's going on here. <clears throat> it's very strange.
I know there used to be a key to like look at your uh, sense pattern and also look at your. Uh, well, we know the better than the bash front doors open anymore. You could look at where your scent is on the map. And I think there was even like a sound mode where you could see how the sound worked. I have much carrying capacity left yet, so... Let's try to grab some of the stuff I know is decent. Can't carry anymore. And I'm losing it. I can also look at like the the code of the chitin and see if the chitin gives you like camouflage or something. I didn't know there's camouflage in the game though. I don't think there's like I don't think I've seen any item that says like camouflage shorts or something, you know? sure what I press there. Enter, maybe? Yeah, enter. I don't think any of that would have the information we're looking for. This is like wiki kind of stuff we'd have to look at. It's kind of happening for the raccoon, too. I mean, there's an easy way to solve it. We can take the chitin off and then see what happens. That's a Lursky for our health. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I remember the present mute that time, or at least I had enough time. Okay. Drop our books off and our medical stuff. Cleaner. Our vest to cut up later. Leather to cut up. I kind of forgot we had some of this stuff. Cowboy hat can get cut up. Carrying the wheel wooden needle around with us, we don't need it. Not at all times. Don't need the empty MP3 player anymore, it can get chopped up. Lighter. Cut up the flashlights. Definitely take the battery out of this one. Drop this flashlight as well. Taser, taser, taser. Emergency oxygen pack can be useful. How heavy is it? If it's small, I won't mind carrying it around, but if it's big. 0.7 liters. It's a little on the big side. Alright, rubber boots we want to hold on to. Raincoat we want to hold on to. Ski mask we want to hold on to. And we just want to compare quiver with the birch bark quiver. I think the regular quiver is definitely better. It is made of leather, though, so we might want to just cut it up. It's not as encumbering, and I'm sure we can reinforce it. So. 
Birch Bark Quiver, though, is really good just because it, uh... lasts so long. Or so easy to build it. Get that quiver, reload it. Grab our wooden needle. We never did find a sewing kit on that run, which is unfortunate. Surely we'll find one soon, though. Alright. Let's reinforce that we can reinforce. And we're all out of time. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments. Tell me what the heck is going on in this episode, because it was very strange. And, until next time, I hope you have a good day.